Hey, hi guys. Long time no hi. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. I'm Stella. I'm a Washington DC based flight attendant. I travel the world and I take you with me here on my YouTube channel. Just got into my hotel room. You win some, you lose some. I am currently in Tampa, Florida. This is a two day trip. We did 6 a.m. DCA to Dallas Fort Worth and then we had about an hour and a half sit and then we did Dallas Fort Worth to Tampa. So just two flights today. Pretty easy, everything went smooth. Perfect passengers, perfect weather, perfect planes. It was a good day. So, okay taking off my shoes here. Oh, it's always so good. <laughs> Hi, Chase Lounge. Like, don't mind if I do just kind of sit over here for a moment. Okay, I, I, I can't do this angle. <laughs> All right, let me, let me sit up here. Uh, so I haven't really been vlogging too much on YouTube, but I've been putting up a ton of TikTok videos. You guys, TikTok videos, they're so much fun. They're so easy to make. It's like maybe one could be like five seconds long and it's like hilarious, or they can be up to like a minute long. And I'm having a lot of fun just making silly, goofy TikTok videos. Literally the best thing that you can hear as a flight attendant is... Flight attendants, prepare for landing. Okay. So if you guys have TikTok, definitely check me out over there. I'm just fly with Stella. Yeah, last month I had reserve and I was so stressed out, you guys. It has been so long since I've actually been on reserve and I forgot the feeling of just waiting for your phone to ring, waking up in the middle of the night, just staring at your phone like, did I miss a call? Like it's it's very stressful to be on call. I was used a ton last month, but I didn't vlog that much just because I was so stressed out and I had so much on my mind of like being on reserve, flying lead position, flying number two position, galley, just, just a lot going on. So I was like, I can't also vlog and do all of this. Now we are well into my second month of flying. Randomly, this is only my second trip. Just needed some spacing in between my trips. So this is, so gosh, like what is the date? Yeah, it's already the 18th and this is only my second trip. So kind of relaxing this month for sure. Look you guys, I got a new tote bag. I literally had my old red tote bag for years and years, you guys. I always got so many questions on my red tote bag. It was Cole Hahn and it was company issued. Cole Hahn gave all the flight attendants a red tote bag. So gosh, it's probably been like three, at least two years that I had had that red bag. And that was my second red bag. I had already like gotten a new red bag because those bags go through a lot of stuff. Like the bottom of that old red bag, oh, it was just always on the floor. It was just always somewhere on the airplane. It got ruined pretty quick. So I had went through two of them. So really like that red flight attendant bag. I think it's gorgeous. I love like the pop of color. It matches my lipstick when I don't have a mask covering my face. But I flew with a flight attendant a few weeks ago and she had this one. This is Travel Pro and she swore by this bag. So I was like, okay, okay, hold on. Let me look this bag up. Went on Amazon, found it for a really good price and just ordered it. And this is my first trip with it. And it's got a lot more room than like my old bag. Let me um, set this here for you guys. I'm just gonna show you like what I packed inside of it. This is like so random, but okay, first we have my flight attendant shoes. I was tired today, so I actually wore my in-flight shoes through the airport to the shuttle van, but these are my normal flight attendant shoes and these are just naturalizers and I do a very small heel because my feet hurt if I walk too long in high heels. I've got some oatmeal that I didn't eat from last week's trip. Okay, I'm actually just gonna show you what's in this big back pocket first. So I've got some gum, 
it's always handy to have after a meal. I've got band-aids here. I have a mini man uh, manicure kit. I'm like, what is this? Like a miniature manicure kit if I have like a hangnail or something. I've got a charger to charge my company tablet and you guys, gear ties. I know I have talked about gear ties so much. These are the most amazing little thing. I try to use them for as all of my cords if I can find them, but I, I do tend to lose these often. So that is to charge my tablet. I also have some Flonase because it is allergy season. And I have some True Lime packets here. I love to put these in water bottles and it makes my water just so much more lovely to drink. This is just a little glasses cleaner to clean my eyeglasses. So that's everything in this little back pocket here, main pocket. I have my little like clutch and this just has a bunch of random little things in it. Some eyeglass cleaner some uh, dental floss and literally <laughs> like look how many rubber bands I have so that's just kind of a keep all there and this is a phone charger I always put stickers on my phone charger so that I don't get it mixed up with anybody else's this is one of my friend's books that she wrote, but I actually wrote a tortilla recipe on this earlier while I was in flight, so I randomly have that. I have a Ziploc bag here with extra masks if one of my masks breaks. I've got sunglasses in here. These are prescription sunglasses from Warby Parker. I like to have those with me. I have a flashlight company, no, not company issued, just a required piece of flight attendant equipment is to have a flashlight. Okay, almost done. Still have some stuff in here. This is a charger for my vlogging camera. I've got my AirPods, which also, can we see that? I also put stickers on my AirPods just so I don't get them mixed up with anybody else's. I have another charger to charge my tablet just in case the other one breaks. And then this is to charge my iWatch, I Apple Watch. And then like randomly a plastic bag with a protein bar in it. Okay, so that is almost everything in that big middle pocket. Oh yeah, okay, this pocket randomly just has headphones because passengers always need headphones and sometimes we're not always catered with enough for everybody. So I just always keep a stash of extra ones in there. Middle pocket here just has a pen, which I don't wanna take that out because I don't wanna lose it. And then this back pocket here for when I don't have to wear my mask anymore, I just have lip products and you guys this actually is one of my favorite reds that I wear as a flight attendant so this is Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in the color Ruby and this is such a beautiful red okay also this bag has a little side pocket here and this is where I keep my company tablet it just fits perfectly there. I didn't even know that when I saw her with it. And then also there is a front pocket here. It's kind of discreet, like you almost wouldn't even be able to see it, but it's right here in front. And in here I have my passport because I always want to have this just readily available. And then I also have my wallet. And you guys, this is a guilty pleasure. I just got this wallet recently. And this is a little Gucci wallet with a little tiny chain. So like, hello, obsessed. And the chain is removable, but I am just loving this little chain. So that just goes in front there. And then last but not least, there is a back pocket here. And, oh, I just closed it. And, oh yeah, I have parking forms in here. I have to submit uh, my forms to my manager to get a parking pass for DCA. And then this here can, can sit on the top of your luggage. 
So that's everything in here, you guys. I'm obsessed with this little bag. Look at this just turned a, into a what's in my flight attendant bag video. I was just so impressed with this bag today. I was like, there's so much room in here. I don't have to really look for things. There's just a lot of room in here. I really wanted to share that with you guys to let you know if you are looking for just kind of a simple travel tote. This seems like a really good one right now. I will say it is, it's not as structured as my old red one, my good old red. I did love that bag. I still have it. I might just keep it for like sentimental value, but that bag really didn't hold a lot. Like I was able to fit snacks into this bag and my shoes and actually my sweater was on top of that. I had a water bottle in there and with my old tote bag, I never had enough room for everything. It was always like bursting at the seams or something was being popped open or spilling in there. It was a hot mess. So I'm glad to have this little bag. And look how much stuff fit in here. Like this is a good amount of stuff. What time is it you guys? I shouldn't take a nap, but I so want to. Okay, it is 3.26. I don't even know if there's time difference between Washington DC and Florida. No, there isn't. <laughs> but I definitely had to look that up. Uh, there's no time difference. So it is 3.30 basically. We've got pickup tomorrow at 5 a.m. This is a very early sign-in trip. I really like early sign-ins because that means you get to get to the hotel earlier or you get to get home earlier, which tomorrow we get home at like 11.30 a.m., which is fantastic but we also have to get up super, super early. I love palm trees. I swear, like, ne my next house I buy, I just wanna plant like a ton of palm trees everywhere. <laughs> I'm walking to go get some food because I'm hungry, but I don't think I'm gonna eat at a restaurant. I think I'm just gonna order it to go and then take it back to my room because I'm a slam clicker. Okay, having my morning coffee. Morning coffee here, guys. So it's definitely running late this morning. I'm trying to like chug my coffee, but it's so hot. So wasn't able to say hi to you guys. Just got to Miami. I'm going to Icebox, one of my favorite places to eat in Miami. Let's see what they have. is it's 7 30 in the morning right now so like literally nothing looks good okay they actually had a ham and cheese croissant so I ended up getting that that's a better breakfast item than chicken noodles <laughs> it's early morning in Miami right now about 7 30 a.m. all right they're cleaning the plane right now, so we can't get on. So, eating my breakfast on the jet bridge. <laughs> okay, taking the train today, the metro. Look at me go. I am taking the metro. Nobody's around me. Normally, Bart comes and picks me up, but I just landed back at DCA and it is noon. I actually landed at 11.30, but I went and introduced myself to my new manager here at DCA and turned in like my parking pass stuff. So, oh, my nose is running. I forgot how bad my allergies are at DCA. Okay, oh, I'm like, I just wanna take everything off. <laughs> It's like, um, it's like $30. I just checked Uber and Lyft and it was like $30 to get to my home from DCA. And this Metro, I think was like $4. I was like, yeah, no, I don't have a lot of stuff. 
I just have these two bags. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm taking this. I'm taking this Metro car. First time doing it by myself though. So I'm just like, nobody steal me. think now the living room is finally complete we got the new mirror I don't remember if I showed you that but the old mirror was gold and this one's silver now oh the couch is a mess we also got a new dresser and put up a mirror trying to get a painting for above here lots of going on around here oh it's so nice to be home Hi there! <laughs> Hi there! Home! Sweet home, you guys. I love coming home from a trip during the day and it is not even one o'clock yet. So I've got the whole day ahead of me. What should I do with my day? It's actually a little cloudy outside, so I don't know. Fran Bear probably needs a walk. Huh, Bear, do you need a walk? Do you need a walk? Okay, gonna go walk Franny out in the world. Bye guys. <laughs>